Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I don't feel too good, obviously. So I decided to buy something from the dollar store. And that movie is... Yeah, pretty much. And this movie was actually had a different title, really. And yeah, it's actually called the Wish Fish. What the hell? And that's what this movie is. Uh, it, was, it was produced by this one company, which I spoke about before. And this company, yeah, it's a boy. It's yeah, they made that one Frozen knockoff kind of a thing. They actually copied Frozen. Fucking idiot. So yes, we're not off to a good start here. I mean, how am I supposed to describe this movie? I mean, there's barely a story to speak of, really. Seriously, this entire movie, this entire movie, this entire movie, well, it started just because this little rug rat, this little brat, didn't want to eat fish. That's it. And I like this, like, this thing that comes out of somewhere, and then there's, like, this weird-looking thing, and... I mean, you can use a cell phone in the desert or whatever, and then there's like these creature-like things. Oh, okay. Peter, what are you doing, crack? What the fuck? Yeah, that's one of the problems I have with this movie. Okay, one of many. Then the structure of the story is like, it's like there's no structure. Everything just come off at random. There's no structure to anything at all. I you think I wanted this crap. I mean, really. Well, anyway, I did have a former friend who actually actually bought me a bunch of their movies in you know, this gift bag or something. Then to drove my car into his house and you know, to punish him. And then right after I spoke to the police, I just went to the Rasputin where I actually sold all those movies I had in those gift bag or whatever and repurchased the first Frozen film. And then, after that, I went to Target, where I wanted to get another movie. If you haven't guessed yourself, of course it was Frozen 2. Why was that it? I mean, okay, I didn't have to, but I just did this just to piss off Kevin Swanson. Yeah, I'm going to be that spiteful. I am like that. I'm not going to deny it at all. Fuck you! I have to talk about the plot. Even though there isn't really a story per se, really just random stuff happening. And, uh, okay, I guess I'll talk about that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, this uh, movie is centering on this age old boy. Yes, of course, he's a bit on the heavy side, just so to speak. And he, in a desperate attempt to stop him from uh, eating so much junk food, his mother tries to show him a special kind of dish. The waste fish. Yeah, really. Uh, of course. But, the. Um, but he does take it as a joke and makes a wish. And, of course, he's one of those kids that always demands what, what he wants to do and whatnot. This definitely makes him really unlikable. Like, because, like I said before, he acts like a little brat. Just eat your food. That's it. How is that so hard? I mean, really. Annoying little kid. I mean, really, he, he plays around with his toys or whatever like a typical kid, but whatever. And then he just ends up going on this journey or whatever for some stupid reason, I guess, because the plot said so. There should be some presentation meetings discussed about this movie and how not to make a movie. This is the exact opposite of what you should do when it comes to making movies. I mean, how can you get this wrong? Bother telling me that. Oh, it's a kid's movie. What do you expect? Something better than this. If anything, a kid's movie should be held in a really, really high standard when you think about it. Kids don't know any better, and their minds still dilapidating, and you're okay with this trash being shown to them? A kid's movie can be well animated, a good story, a character arc or two, well written dialogue, great coloring, great character designs. And even if it's live action, you still have some mix of the two, you know. With some great music, rememberable lyrics, rememberable characters, and whatnot. 
Oh, don't give me none of that stuff. Oh, it's a kid's movie. No, no. Kid's mind is still delamping, so you want to expose him to something really good. And this movie is the exact opposite of good. There's no character development. There's plot line for what it is. It's very, very paper thin. There's no rememberable music. The animation is awful. And on the, in, the top of that, the, the character designs are also horrendous to look at. There's nothing really good about this. Like, at all. I mean, really. Ugh. I just had to go to the dollar store. I mean, really. I just came across this crap. Oh, come on, Mr. Monkey. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna buy you this garbage, okay, man? I'm getting sick of you, alright? Yeah, I'm sick of you, alright? <laughs> Whatever. Ugh. Yeah. Pretty much the movie is just centered around the idea that this kid makes a wish in a joking manner and stuff starts happening. If you didn't think this was a boring movie, but the it's also frustrating because it's really stupid. I mean, come on, the kid is also really rude to his mother. I mean, don't you think that's a bad example for the kids? The mother is just trying to help him out. That's it, really. He's up in arms with Elsa being possibly a lesbian. Oh, that bothers you? I mean, really? Of all the things? But then again, I'm not surprised because people are okay with having movies like Twilight for focusing on abusive relationships and normalizing them. Oh, uh, uh, okay, but you're fine with that though. Alright. Anyway, back to this trash heap. The story drags, the animation is weird, the character designs are odd, and none of it is, in is intentional. I could be more lenient if it was on purpose, I guess, to all the weird looking stuff, but whatever. But yeah, this was not well constructed whatsoever. Bad. It's so bad. No, Mr. Monkey. No. No, Mr. Monkey. Bad monkey. There you go. Whatever. And there was something about some leader of some robot guys or something. I, I don't care. It cost me a dollar, and I still felt like I wasted my money here. Yes, that all for. Put over his uses. I said, let it go to Rep's unit, I guess. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, it's not all bad. I know I didn't talk about the voice acting yet, but how do you think the voice acting is going to be? It's terrible. It's all slock. Eh, I'm rich. Yeah, I'm rich. Yeah. Eh, great. It's the smuck again. Great. Oh, come on, kill him or dance. Wallsack. Can you see? I have to tell you that this is a masterpiece. Whatever, mama's boy. Well, I guess I have to beat you up, man. I mean, yeah, I have to. Oh, dude. He left. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up, man, okay? Here. Oh, never mind. Here's your head. Come on, you couldn't even pop that thing with a force stab? What a joke. There you go. There you go. I do, I do that to your head. Will you drop us a baby? I'm giving you a warning, man. I'm giving you a warning. Did you sustain too many injuries throughout your life? What is your problem? Okay. You haven't gotten laid in a while? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get you, man, okay? I will get you, alright? Ah! You're not scary, man, okay? Learn about that. Accept it. Anyway, yes, of course, even the editing in this movie is terrible. The editing is awful. Anyway, I'll give this an overall rating of a 4.5 out of 10. It gets a 4.5 out of 10 for me. And as always, thank you for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.